stuff to give to friends. Cool. We freaking did it. Why not, right? <laughs> Dude. Um, can we catch up to this guy? 43. No, we can't. Oh, well. That's not a problem. Uh, and we have leveled up. So, let's increase... Uh, what would I like to increase? I would like to increase intelligence to get more of these skills. Uh, I want to increase probably riding. Uh, well, actually, one of my one of the big ones is going to be trainer. Er, no, do I want to increase my actual combat skills? Oh man, this decisions decisions. Uh, eight percent extra damage, fourteen percent extra bow damage. That's a lot of extra bow damage. Or better shield skill. My shield skill seems all right at the moment. It does. It's not breaking all the time. Uh, my looting could always be better, but I'd rather focus on stuff that's going to get me not dead. Trainer is at its max. That's okay. Cool. Um, horse archery is at its max. Athletics doesn't matter to me because that's just uh, running speed. Uh, I could get iron flesh, but plus two is just so little. I guess I might as well. I mean, it'll, 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 yeah, it'll end up being plus four, but, ah, oh, it's so little. I don't know if it's worth it, to be totally honest. Uh, I'm thinking of going Power Strike and Power Drop. Because I p took a point in Intelligence, I've actually got two. Uh, of course, leadership is always good. Increased max capacity. And then, Persuasion? I could up trade. <laughs> nah. Persuasion's not bad to have, but I think I'd prefer something else. I think I'm going to get Power Strike. I do that a lot. Uh, increase my one-handed. Can only do it so much. Uh, increase pole arms then. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Alright, uh, so we are now moving along to Tashkulum. Hello, caravan, sir. I would rob you if I had more men. Instead, I'm just going to awkwardly follow you to your home. Stalk you on Facebook. Uh, let's see how much I would get off of him. Nope, 38. Eh, nah. Not worth it. If he's only going to give me 38, then that's also probably a sign that I wouldn't be... I'm not in a very good position to beat him in a fight. So that's something. Uh, Tashkulum, what up? Hey, hey, they're actually giving me some volunteers. Four dudes. Hey, Zangush is being... Zagush, rather. It's being raided. Freaking screw off. And tch, the worst part, I can't do anything about it because I'm not at war with him. And I don't really want to attack somebody who's got 103 dudes. Oi, that's annoying. Oh, oh well. Is it just me, or are these guys a little bit powerful? <laughs> oh, this guy's only got two, ten dudes. I could totally rob him. If I really wanted to go to war with a third faction, which I don't. Oh well. What's going on here? Okay. Hey, Zegush was actually saved by somebody who's not me. Probably Dundish. Here comes the entire army. What up? Alright, let's uh, head into Zagush. They like us, so... Well, they like us a little. Uh, two. Okay. Anything, uh, anything we can do you for? Cattle? Uh, no. 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 Nope. Nope. That's not happening. Me and cows? Nope. Never again. Uh, I'm surprised the entire army is, like, right here, and yet they're not helping very much. I mean, sure, yeah, they've got 120, I think? But, I mean, if the entire- Oh, hey, Nara's under siege. That's unusual. Who's besieging it? Uh, I guess they left. I accidentally clicked streets again. That's fine. I'm totally happy just wandering in. I actually kind of like the immersion, to be totally honest, of like actually riding your horse into town. What's this? This is the tavern right here. That's exactly what I wanted. I kind of like the immersion of so sometimes, you know, just like riding your horse into town rather than just, you know, warping into the tavern. Uh, nobody is here. Hmm. Oh, well. Woot woot. We won. Uh, yeah, this seems like quite the uh, quite the invasion going on here. 
from the Sarinid Sultanate. That's uh, a little bit disturbing, to be honest, because they do seem to be getting quite the upper hand. Nara is no longer under siege, but for how long is the question. Seems like there was some sort of battle because 50 units are down, or 60 rather, units are unconscious. Unfighting worthy, at least. You know, I'm considering uh, using the Kagit Khanate for, you know, self-enrichment purposes only. But then again, I would just have to drop them immediately to get um, my castle. So really, when I really think about the benefits that I could get from them, it's not much. It's like, what am I going to get? Gold? Missions? Chance to fight? Um, siege battles? But I won't really reap anything from the benefits. In a different playstyle, I absolutely would. If I was going for a real noble, I absolutely would. But in this case, it's no real point, to be totally honest. And you know me, I'm a totally honest kind of guy. I would never steer you guys wrong. I legitimately do not see much benefit, be it story or practicality, um, to... Did my stream go down? Did my stream go down? Uh, it looks like it's still broadcasting. Is it just this computer that's... My stream-watching computer that's... Uh... Anybody in chat, is the stream still working? Can you hear me? Uh, okay, okay, cool. It's working now. Wonderful? Sure, yeah, let's roll with that. Yay, still broadcasting. Cool. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, it's just because uh, the stream that I use to watch my stream, uh, so the computer that I use to watch my stream uh, went gray, so must have just been the computer disconnecting. Oh, only 60 dudes here. And 22 of them are just footmen. Then again, three of them are veteran archers. Nobody is a super high level. Then again, by the time I am a super high level, I doubt... Oh, I, I doubt they'll still be at 60. Eh, it's worth a shot, regardless. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Let's head down to Peshmi. We don't really go to Peshmi much. We don't really visit it. It's a little bit out of the way, to be totally honest. But, uh, I mean, through Peshmi is Amashke. And, I mean, how can you say no to Amashke, right? It's not a bad spot. Not a bad spot at all. Not a bad spot of bother. Not a bad... Not a bad anything. I, I rather... Ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally okay with this. I, I just noticed on the stream... Um, Sarah's green and Matt uh, is red, so it looks like Christmas in the chat. That is amazing. I'm very happy to see this. Thank you guys for enlightening my life uh, with these beautiful Christmas colors. You guys are the best. Um, this music is getting me in a very somber mood. It's not a mood I enjoy being in. <laughs> it's okay though. There's, there's a lot of death around me, so I can afford to be somber. Let's head to Amashke. Everything's happy in Amashke. Um, I believe, actually, they're uh, celebrating in Amashke um, the uh, the latest festival. Something or another, like, uh, what do they call it again? Hanukkah? I don't know. Something like that. Eight Karagat tribesmen want to join. It's the day in which everybody joins the army. Because, bro... <laughs> that was eight dudes. Not the most I've ever gotten, but from a zero relationship dude that I never visit that's not bad it's not bad at all um okay good tribes yeah so I've got 19 tribesmen which is a large part of my army it's hard it's not quite the majority which is good uh, I like to keep my lesser units underrepresented uh, not misrepresented mind you there is a very large difference. Let's head over to Volusia. See what's happening in Volusia. I bet you uh, Bastyr's probably broken out of prison by now. Hopefully, maybe, probably. 
Uh, meanwhile, Katrin is probably still wasting away in a jail cell somewhere. Uh, we should probably make it a priority to go find them at some point. Might be good of me. Um, all the somber music in this game. Uh, Volusia, let's see what it holds. I mean, even if it holds like a traveler or something, that would be very useful. And hey, even if it holds a totally different dude entirely that is bad enough to p become part of our gang. And when I mean bad, I mean bad. I mean like bad dude's bad. I mean you have to be bad enough to rescue the president's daughter kind of bad. Like, that's how bad I'm talking. You need to be right hardcore up in this grill as son. I don't think you fully understand the gravity of the situation in Grunwalder Castle uh, with your 152 dudes. Are they bad dudes? No. And that's why you will always be Grunwalder Castle and not Grunwalder Palace. Count Matthias gets it. Count Matthias is bad. You know, Count Matthias, he, he's got a he's got a rep around town um, for being uh, quite the bad dude. He's been uh, he he he's been. Uh, whoa! What's this? What's this, friends? Uh, a fellow over here by the by the name of Rolf. I I he he looks like an interesting sort of fellow. I'm going to go uh, uh, sit down with this man. Wearing my mask of plus one neckbeard. Hello, Rolf. Greetings. I am Rolf, son of Rolf. Of the most ancient and puissant house of Rolf. Uh, never heard of the house of Rolf. Really? Uh, perhaps your ignorance can be forgiven. Our ancestral lands are far away over the mountains. Like all the men of my family, I have come to a foreign land to make a name for myself in the professions of arms before returning home to take, us, take over custodianship of my estates. Unfortunately, the authorities of these lands have little understanding of the warrior code. Oh, I know. Um, and have chosen to call me a bandit and brigand and put a price on my head. Well, Rolf, son of Rolf, out here in my territory... People bad enough to have labels such as that put on them are highly revered. A most unfair libel to throw at a gentleman adventurer, you will surely agree. He's uh, got quite the uh, quite the chipper tongue, he does. But I'm anxious to avoid any further trouble. So if you know of any company of fighting men where I might enlist, I'd be most grateful. I think I run such a company. I might be able to uh, hire an extra hand. Good. I look forward to vanquishing your enemies. Note, however, that as a gentleman and the holder of a barony, is a baron, I expect to be in a position of command and not be treated as one of the ca uh, as one of the common soldiers. Now I'm kind of having second thoughts. Is that actually? Is this guy actually a bad dude? Um. Oh, okay. This result probably makes me think it's actually very well. I'll be glad to hit. Be glad to have you with us. Um. Baron. Yeah, he's totally lying. Excellent! Before we depart, would you be so kind as to lend me 300 dinars? I had to pawn a family heirloom at a pawnbroker here in Volusia, and I would like to retrieve it before I leave. Uh, really? I can't afford 300 dinars? Man, how bad is my wallet right now? Hello, Katrin. Hello, Nizar. Screw you both. Oh, man. How, how sucky is my fan? Uh oh. Okay, well, we do have stuff to sell. Which is very good. Like, thank, thank the loudy above that we have something to sell because I think we just made up the money. Yes, we did. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Just had to hit up the marketplace to hawk off a bunch of stuff. But we can hire you now, so you can go head back to that pawn shop, pick up that family here. My apologies if I was rude earlier. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Certainly, here's three hundred dinars. Cool. Rolf has now joined our party. Let's take a look at Rolf. I've never actually seen... I've never actually had Rolf aboard before. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Skills. So he's pretty even in anything, uh, but he obviously prefers striking and throwing. Um, he does like the riding, which is good. Uh, high leadership. Surgery and first aid. It's funny. Um, 
given by his tone of voice, I kind of imagined he'd have a good persuasion. I might want to start giving him some persuasion, to be totally honest. Oh, he's riding his high, but so is his athletic, so he's equally good on foot. Or he's better on foot than on a horse. All the same, though, I mean, that's not a huge deal. A horse is always nice. Uh, though, I'm considering equipping him with the sword that I had promised. Oh, he does not have the strength, apparently, to use that sword. However, he does have the strength to wield this armor, which is always nice. Uh, okay. Alright, cool. Uh, we now have Rolf uh, among us. Let us sell your jerkin, for you do not need jerkins where we're going. Oh, ho, ho. Um, cool. We've got now... 97 gold, or dinars rather, while we need way more by the week's end. Oh, we're going to need to make some quick money. Uh, so, what better way to make some quick money than to head up to Bergland for some burglary? No, actually, we should probably head even further north into proper north territory if we're going to be taking Deerim at any point. I would prefer not to take over a town and be all like, I'm your leader now, and the peasants be all like, hey, you remember that time you burned us down that one time? And slaughtered all of our women and children? Yeah, that was, uh, that was unpleasant. Um, yeah, that would be unpleasant for them to remind me of that. So let's just not have that happen. Therefore, they won't be able to remind us of that. Instead, we shall head north. Ambien has already been taken care of, but there's always Jill Beggy. Meanwhile, Uxtal, let's see if anything's going on. Uh, well, it's nighttime. I was going to hope for a, uh, tourney. But it seems like that's not going to happen. Uh, it's not so bad, though. We can always check the tavern and see what's going on. Uh, Mathel, Deshavi, and Watchman. Oh, well. What do you want? Uh, nothing at all. I actually don't remember anything about her. I'm from an old family in the northern lands, the daughter of a thane, and also a wife to one. I fought my husband's side. My husband just decreed that I should inherit his lands in the absence of an heir. My brother-in-law, cursed his name, said that it was not our custom that women could inherit a thanedom. That was nonsense, but his gold bought the lord. Um, I don't want to say this. I, but I don't want to say this through honest fighting and pillaging. Except that I would be pleased, but I warn you, if you ask me to gather firewood or cook a meal, you will not like the consequences. Eh, uh, no, actually. If you don't do whatever I order you to do, you'd best seek your fortune elsewhere. If y'all join in an army, you have to take orders. It's just kind of a thing that we do here in Army Land. Army. Uh, how do I make army? Uh, br br bro, army land. What up? <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's run away and never return. Um, Swedia versus Wardox war. Cool. Uh, to the Nords, and so we'll uh, head up here. Try not to die. Raid a city. Make some money, and then we'll call it a day. This is the plan. Let's see if we live through it. Uh, upgrading some dudes, running very dangerously low on money. I am not going to lie to you fellows. Uh, but that's not so bad if we can make it to looting a city. I mean, even if we end up looting like a bandit camp, that's still some good money right there. It's not as good, but it's it's something, right? Um, so yeah, we can just head back down to Suno and pawn some stuff off. Some questionably gained goods. They they never ask questions, which is nice. I, pr I respect that in shopkeepers. Don't ask questions. Never ask questions. Because if you ask questions, you start feeling guilty, and people stop selling to you. So not only do you lose business, you also lose your mind. And really, what is more important in life than your mind? Jarl Dirigun is here. But if he tried to come at me, bro, he'd have quite the surprise on his hands, for I would come at him with the fury. Oh. Hmm. Okay. The population is hostile towards you. Let's attack the bandits and make them trust me. There is one more bandit than they have unhappiness towards me. Let's, uh... Let's take these guys. 
We got this. We got this. We got this. Don't got this. Okay, cool. We got this. I'll just ignore that guy hacking away at the back of my head. Oh, there's an arrow in this guy's shoulder, and he doesn't care. I should be using a melee weapon. Okay, cool. All right. Into battle. Uh, this is actually Rolf's first battle, to be totally honest. It's, uh... It's exciting, really. Uh, we don't want any... Ah, oh, there's some character skirmishes going down. We don't want any of our dudes to die. We don't mind them going unconscious, and we definitely don't mind anything happening to the farmers. But we don't uh, want our dudes to die. That would be bad. That, that actually carries with a permanent consequence. Well, permanent. Consequences until they hire new guys. So basically, it's financial consequences. Which is a pain. Uh, though, that said, we do seem to be doing pretty well and probably don't have to worry about much at all. Uh, we're just like murdering left, right, and center. You dead! Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. No, no, now you're unconscious, which is even better than dead. Because that means we can take your prisoner and make money off of y'all. Sweet. It's an interesting dilemma, uh, because if you use blunt, non-lethal weapons, you can kill people without killing them. You can take them down, and you can then um, sell them, basically. Uh, um, which is great. Uh, however, the weapons in question are also absolute garbage and do, like, no damage. Which sucks. So it's an interesting dilemma. Okay, back to Jelbeggy. Where we lurch and burn the village. Ha 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 ha! We just took out your bandits so we can take them because we are the better bandits. <laughs> uh, cool. I don't know if we're actually going to have to attack them at all. I'm not sure. Or if they're just going to give up. Oh, hey, I just got an achievement. The bandit. Raid three caravans and three villages. We're finally a bandit! We did it! On your orders, the troops sack the village, yada yada yada, get your share of 50 dinars, and all of this swag. And I use the swag, uh, the swag word, <laughs> uh, in the more literal sense than is common. Um, as swag means actually, um, well, when used on its own, uh, the word swag actually means um, loot and merchandise. Uh, whereas it is commonly used in the shortened form of swagger which means a uh, method of walking that is particularly stylish. Uh, oh, I can't get involved because I'm at war technically with both factions, uh, which is fine. Is this guy coming at me? Oh, that's adorable. Is 23 units. <laughs> eh, he knows the score. Uh, okay, so let's head over to Suno so that we can hawk all this stuff off and then upgrade our units. Uh, hopefully we won't go into debt before we get there, but... I mean, that is vi liable to happen. Uh, that said, it won't be a huge debt, but it will still make my people unhappy. And quite frankly, I just prefer not to be in debt in the first place. Uh, luckily, all of our loot was goods, which means it sells at a very good price. Uh, with any other um, sort of class of thing, um, goods become very... Uh, sorry, a a any other um, sort of type of item, like goods versus uh, goods as opposed to um, friggin' weapons, horses, that kind of stuff. Um, they the uh, the price actually drops significantly uh, when you sell it as opposed to when you buy it. Uh, selling all the stuff. Uh, okay, so that's as much as I can sell here, but then I can always just go to the arms dealer and sell more stuff here. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that Volusia sells silk? No, it was Sargoth buys silk. Sargoth buys silk for a crazy price, but uh, I'm currently at war with Sargoth, so that's going to be sold here. And Spice, that can be sold here too. I don't actually know where that sells. Uh, salt, I'm pretty sure sells here, to be totally honest. Oh, hey, they ran out of money. I'll take the Spice back. Uh, actually, I can sell the salt here. No, I can't. They've only got 20 dinars. Oh, right, because this is the goods merchant. whoops a doodle Uh, cool. I'll sell that here, and then the armor merchant can have the spice. Spicy! Wonderful. Uh, okay, we now have boatloads of cash. We are swimming in the dollar bills. Uh, we are, um, basically the best money, um, 
scrubbing lords and this side of the his house. Um, correct me if I'm uh, wrong on my hip lingo uh, there, uh, but I'm pretty sure I've uh, pretty sure I, I've been practicing my uh, hip slang. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the arena and check and see where the uh, where there are any current turners being held. Not that it matters because a week from now I'm not gonna remember. Uh, but just out of curiosity, if it's like really close by, then I'll head over to a tournament for a grand finale. Uh, but if it's further than like if if it's like here or in Rodok Land, then yeah, I'll head over. Or if it's like really close, and I'll like mull over it and then decide. Uh, but for now, where's the arena? Uh, enter the arena. Tournament master! Uh, Sargoth, Ravandin, and Tulga. So basically, no. The only place that I can go without being beheaded would be uh, Tulga, which is all the way over here, and that's exactly the opposite side of the map, uh, which I don't want to go to right now. Uh, so, thank you guys! Oh, my freaking webcam, as per great tradition, at the very end I noticed that it has been borked. However, I've been keeping my eye on it, so it can't possibly have been borked that long. Hopefully, maybe? Possibly? I don't know, and the recordings people are going to be freaking out. Um. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Uh, I've been Alex. I've been trying to game this whole time. Um, oh, I, f I find that I've been succeeding. We've actually got quite the thing going. We went a while in there, uh, not really doing terribly well, to be totally honest. But we picked it up. We've got more units. We've got money again. Uh, the units that we have are actually quite powerful. And most importantly... We are leveling up. We're now level 13. I think we leveled up twice this session, or maybe it was once. Regardless, uh, have yourselves wonderful days, um, and thank you very much for showing up. Bye!